What does it cost to live in the city of Irvine, California? Well, today I'm breaking down everything you need to know, whether you're renting, planning on moving here, currently live here and are curious, we're gonna go through everything you need to know about what it's like to live in the city of Irvine. I'm Lance Rush Mills. I'm a local realtor here in Orange County. I've actually lived in Irvine for the last several years. I've rented apartments, I've lived in some different homes. So what I'm gonna do today is break down the total cost of living in Irvine. We're gonna talk about everything from different rental prices to the home values, what salaries look like in the city of Irvine, and even what it's like to dine out and actually live here on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the first things to know about Irvine, California is that it is one of the top rated cities, not only in California, but in the entire nation. Irvine is constantly in a battle for that number one spot for best city in America, as well as safest city in America. So needless to say, it is one of the top and most sought after cities in Orange County and the nation. So as a result, you can imagine, the cost of living is a lot higher than throughout the rest of the United States. In Irvine, California, the overall cost of living is about 88% higher than the rest of the United States. So everything from housing to food costs, um, even the median salary though, you know, is higher than what you're gonna see in the rest of the United States. So in Irvine right now, the median home value is about $864,000. So which is a lot higher than the average home price in, of the United States of $230,000. So right off the bat, you know, if you're looking to move here, looking to buy a home um, from out of state, especially, you know, it is a larger consideration of, of what the total cost here is. Fortunately, you know, there are a lot of great rental options here in Irvine. Uh, the city of Irvine is a master plan community, so honestly, everything is laid out very well. So you've got a lot of your constructions newer, you have great new roads, um, wide lanes, you've got different greenery, parks all throughout the city. Um, so the city is really well designed, um, you know, which does attribute to a, a lot of the larger costs of living here. If we start breaking down what it's like to actually rent in the city of Irvine, on the lower end side, you know, if you're looking to get a studio or one bedroom apartment, you're gonna pay anywhere from 1800 to $2,100 a month um, for a studio to a one bedroom apartment. As so you start working your way up, anywhere from you know a three bedroom to a four bedroom uh, rental, you're gonna be paying upwards of $3,300 to even $4,200, you know, depending if you're looking for an apartment or a home. Um, you know, it, it is a little bit more expensive. You're paying for what you get for here is really like the way to take a look at it. The other thing that I did wanna mention uh, when it comes to Irvine is a lot of Irvine is actually built and owned by the Irvine Irvine company. One single family actually owned a large bit of Irvine. Uh, Irvine used to be very agricultural, so tons of fruits um, in Orange County here. The family still owns a majority of the land and has built and developed it. You're looking in Irvine, you're looking at apartments, um, you'll probably come across the Irvine Company. They're one of the largest landowners here in California. In the city of Irvine, they pseudo have a monopoly you know, on, on the different apartments that are available to you. You will come across them, but once again, it is part of that like master plan design. So everything is nice, it's large, you're gonna have the parks, um, but you know, definitely it's, it's gonna be more expensive than other apartments that you've probably seen either throughout Orange County or even Irvine that are non-Irvine company. They pride themselves in kind of like the amenities they go after. I personally have lived in in several different Irvine Company apartment buildings throughout the years. I've had great experiences, but it is more expensive, just a matter of fact. You know, from on the, the lower end, you know, I've had one bedrooms that were $2,200. Um, I had a two bedroom with a, with a den um, that was $3,100. So, um, you know, and these are both Irvine Company apartments that we've, I've lived in previously. So, um, you know, it, it does give you an idea of, it's it's nice, but you're getting what you're paying for. So, uh, definitely something to consider when you're trying to figure out where should I rent in the city? Uh, should I buy something in the city? Um, there are a lot of options available to you, depending on what you're looking for. When we break down the other costs of living here in Irvine, one of the other big things to note is, um, you know, other other day-to-day -day living expenses across the board. Things like groceries, health insurance, um, it's pretty standard for the rest of California, the rest of the U.S. So, you know, you're not going to pay anything more exuberant for your groceries or your transportation costs. Gas right now is about 
four dollars or so a gallon. You know, regularly I find gas for as low as three fifty, three sixty a gallon. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of what fuel costs are uh, here in Irvine. There is transportation as well. There are uh, the Metro Link runs right through the city of Irvine, so there are some train options um, as well as bus options available. And the other thing to note is Irvine actually has tons of bike lanes. So you know, if you're looking to transport via bike, uh, via scooter, um, it's actually really feasible in the city of Irvine because of um, how well they've planned the community, how wide open the roads are. It is pretty safe to do so here in the city. It's definitely a viable option if you're interested in it. The next thing I kind of want to touch on is what is it like to actually eat on a day-to-day -day basis in Irvine? Aside from the normal grocery stores, we do have um, a lot of higher end grocery stores, you know, so we have Mother's, Whole Foods, um, grocery stores where you actually can spend quite a bit more than the national average uh, on grocery costs. Uh, however, you know, we still have all the regular options. We've got your, your normal Stater Brothers, Vaughn's, Ralph's, all those other brands are still available here in Irvine. So um, it gives you the variety. And I would say like that is one of the biggest things that you have available to you when considering Irvine or living here in the city um, is that there are tons of options available to you. You know, you have everything from uh, normal brands all the way to high-end brands across the board. And that goes for food, for uh, grocery stores, for gas stations, like really everything. You, you have a wide range of variety available to you in Irvine. So when you're going out to eat, you know, you have classic chains like your, your McDonald's, your flame broilers, um, everything uh, across the board that you'll find in other places, you'll find here in Irvine. Um, but you also have a ton of different variety on the high-end side of food options. Um, so, you know, tons of um, five-star restaurants, um, where you can go out and dine, tons of entertainment options. So you know you can still live here on a reasonable food budget of going out and going to the grocery store. But likewise, you can live in Irvine and, and spend you know, 50, 100, $150 a meal as well, depending on the types of restaurants and your lifestyle. So there really is a lot of variety and tons of food choices available. Really, like we do have, um, <laughs> honestly, some of the best food in the world where you have so much variety, so many different cultures, so many types of food all in one spot. Um, so no matter where you live in Irvine, you're going to have access to different types of food um, and different variety any time of the day. So the next thing that's super important to know is in Irvine, the actual median income is over $100,000. So in Irvine, there's actually a ton of jobs available too. You know, we have really, really high um, financial services jobs. There's tons of travel, leisure, hospitality jobs, um, tons of software engineering type roles as well too. Um, so the city itself is very robust in terms of the jobs that are available. Um, and as a result of just the location, the, in terms of actually like living, doing activities, having fun in Irvine, there's tons of options available as well. So everything from the free options uh, all the way to some of the more um, luxury options. We'll kind of touch on a few just to give you an idea of what you can do on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you know, or on your weekend with your friends and family. So Irvine does have a ton of parks all throughout it. So local neighborhoods have different parks with pools, a lot of different HOAs all throughout Irvine that have those types of amenities available to you um, if you're living here. So pretty much any community you live in, in Irvine is gonna have a pool, it's gonna have a park, there's gonna be walking trails, um, all pretty close to you, if not within your actual community. In terms of on the free side, you know, we are um, just a short drive to all the different beaches here in Orange County. So always an option, um, any day of the week, you know, you can get down to the beach from some parts of Irvine in as little as 15 minutes. You know, if you're really far north of Irvine, it'll take a little bit longer, but still really close to get to the beach. Irvine also does have the Great Park, which is um, one of their larger um, parks in the city. So the Great Park has tons of fields, tons of walking trails, it's a great place to you know, have a picnic with friends and family, to go out and play some sports for the day. That is just really a big feature in Irvine is just the different parks and, and outdoor amenities available to you from racquetball courts, volleyball courts. Um, there are so many different ways for you to be outdoors and in, enjoying the Southern California weather and beautiful lifestyle. I mean, if you're a fan of hiking, there's tons of hiking trails in Irvine and in the surrounding neighborhoods as well too. So a lot of free options available to you to actually have fun and get out there, stay healthy, you know, stay moving. If you're looking for entertainment as well, there are a lot of options in Irvine. One of the biggest ones is Irvine Spectrum, which is a high-end mall in the city of Irvine. Um, tons of different brands, tons of great restaurants. So fun to walk around, you can get food there, you can shop around. 
Um, a lot of different options and variety as well to you. Um, they even have a Ferris wheel, which is absolutely worth checking out, especially uh, right around the sunset time. It's a gorgeous view. You can really see into Orange County there. Um, uh, speaking of views as well too, in the Great Park, there is a hot air balloon, which I absolutely recommend everyone take a look at and go on if you have not. Uh, definitely is a pretty interesting experience, once again, to take a look at Orange County, to look at the buildup, and you know, on a clear day, even, even see the ocean. So uh, it's a great opportunity to go ahead and check those things out. Whether you, know, you want to be closer to jobs, if you're looking for something a little bit more spacious for you and your family, you know, if you want to be kind of more towards the nightlife, be able to get out to LA quicker, um, there's tons of options available to you um, when choosing Irvine. So um, let me know, happy to help you find out some good spots. Uh, one of the next videos, I'll actually do a deep dive on the different neighborhoods in Irvine. Um, there's a lot of neighborhoods so we're gonna we're gonna break each one of those down where it makes more sense you know whether you're uh, a single guy looking to um, enjoy more nightlife or you know if you've got a family um, and you're looking for a little bit more space um, or if you're on the higher end of the spectrum and you know you're, you're looking for more of an estate somewhere to get away somewhere with a view all those options are available in Irvine and we'll break them down for you in the next one thanks so much for watching the video um, and remember to like and subscribe I'm doing everything Orange County what it's like to live here I'm gonna break down different cities gonna do more content here here on Irvine. Um, so make sure to follow uh, and I'll give you updated and you'll know just what it's like to live in Orange County. Whether you are planning on moving here um, from within California uh, or looking for out of state, you know, I'm here to help. Um, I'm going to break down everything for you. And once again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me a text and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much.